Hi everyone, it's Miss Jenny. I am here to do um, a fun activity with you. Um, I um, have done it before and I really enjoy doing it. Um, so you will need a few things to get started. Um, you will need a piece of cardstock paper. Um, cardstock is a little bit better than construction paper because of the thickness um, with the paints. We're going to be doing a lot of painting on this. You will also need um, some kind of like painter's tape. Masking tape will work too. Um, if you have a paintbrush and some paints as well. Um, usually probably about four paints. Um, I have the purple I just showed you, the orange, the blue, and the green. Um, and then you can either um, dip the paints into the the paintbrush into the bottle or you can you know pour it out into like a, a painting container whatever you like to do or on a paper plate um, so the first thing that we want to do um, to get started is um, we are going to um, take some pieces of tape so we're gonna start with one um, short one and we're going to be putting these across our piece of paper that we have in front of us. So it doesn't matter how they're placed. I started off like this. Um, and you can make them big, you can make them small, however you want to do it. Um, and let's see, I did my next one like this. I'm just going to fold that little piece over. Um, I'm going to take another piece of tape and just kind of again um, put it across my paper just as long as it you know um, makes it from end to end basically is what you want to do with it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started painting here um, and I'm gonna just kind of start with my purple color and what I'm going to do is just kind of fill in all of these areas here um, I'm I can paint over the tape that is fine um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of purple here and then my next is orange uh, maybe a yellow instead um, and a green and a blue and like a goldish yellowish color as well. So um, I'm gonna paint all those areas. And then once um, you're done painting all of those areas with the tape being left on, you're gonna go ahead and carefully take off the tape that's on the paper and um, it might rip up some of the paper a little bit but that's okay the design will still come out um, so I'm gonna just go ahead and carefully um, take the tape off the paper um, and like I said if it if it tears off some of the paper that's okay too um, just kind of do the best that you can with it um, this is kind of a design that um, many um, people have been doing on their windows. They've been taking the painter's tape, doing the crisscross on their glass windows and painting over that. And then when they're done painting, then they take down the tape. So this is kind of like the same idea, only that we're doing it on paper. Um, so once you take off all the tape, um, I wanna show you this is my um, completed work right here. So, as you can tell, you know, some of the paper ripped off with the tape, and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a fun little activity. So, all the light blue spacing in between is obviously the color of the cardstock paper that I used. And these are all the different pink colors that I chose that I really like. Um, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my activity. Um, and I hope that you enjoy working on it. Um, thank you for listening and hopefully we'll see you soon at the library. Bye!